Hello, my name is Alexei. In this series of video tutorials we will learn how to build a website from scratch on Joomla 4. In previous video tutorial we create contact page with Google Map and contact form. We also configured Joomla email settings. In this video tutorial we will create blog with commands, share buttons and YouTube videos. Let's start with article categories. You can find he them here or content categories. We already have one category by the default. You can leave it like this or you can rename it or you can delete it. For example, like this I will just rename it. But I will show you how to create new category. For example, we will call it blog. That's just fine for now. In several seconds we will use it. And now let's go to Articles and create new article. For example, it will be Blog 1. Here we can choose our category and save it. I will add some text here, for example, like this. Also, I can add an image here. I can create new folder for this purpose. I can switch to this view. It's much more better for me, but you can choose any view. Let's create new folder. I will also call it blog. And I will upload some photos here. I can upload it just click like this. Or I can open folder and move them here. So I can choose first photo, enter ILT text, for example, blog. I can enter figure capture and here I will see my picture. Just for now let's save and close it. Let's go to our menus, top menu and we will create new menu item. I will call it blog. It will be articles, category blog. For now I will just choose a category. It will be our category blog. Let's update our page and we can see that we have a page with our blog article and the image. We won't leave this just like this. We will change this. First let's go to our articles. Let's change some settings. Let's add read more button. Just save it. Update the page. We can see read more blog one. Click and we've got to the full article page. Let's go back. Let's add some picture here. It will be blog options, upload image, let's choose this or this picture that's just for testing purpose. We can see our picture here, we can click on it and we can get to the full page article. For example, I will copy this blog post name it for example 2. It all also will be published. I will change the picture. And I will make this action for several times. OK. I have six copies of this article with different image, different title. Let's see here. We can see six 
articles. Let's update our page. We can see them right here. And now let's change layout of this page. We can leave this and go to menu, stop menu, blog. Here we can see blog layout. This is our lead article. We won't use it, so we just click a zero. Here I will enter, for example, six articles. Here I can enter three columns. Let's save update our page. We have different layout. It look, look much more better. So I will leave it just like this. You can experiment with different options in this tab, this and so on. But for now I will leave just like this. Ok, let's add some YouTube videos in our article. For example, I want to embed this video, for example, somewhere here. Let's go to System, Install Extensions, Install from Web, let's find all videos and let's install it. Now we can to check if this plugin is already enabled. No, is disabled. We need to enable it and see some description. We need as this tag. We need just copy it and change this information. Go to content articles, for example, blog one. Move somewhere you need to e embed your video. Insert this tag, but we need insert this video. So I will just copy this. And enter it here. Just save it. And let's update our page. Here we can see our blog post with YouTube video. So it's embed, it's plain. Now you know how to embed YouTube videos. Also, as you can see, there are a lot of settings. We can change some template, for example, classic. But if we switch to mobile view, we can see that this video doesn't work as we want to. For example, framed. also not very good, so the responsive is just fine. There are also a lot of options, you can experiment with them. Now let's add some comments here. Let's go to System, Extensions, Install from Web and look for my favorite command component. There are two versions, paid one and free one. On my blog I use paid one, but we will use free one. Let's install it. After installation we just refresh the page. We can comment. Now let's see where we can manage these commands. Go to commands, K command. Here we can see manage commands. We can delete it, we can edit it, we can unpublish it, so wherever you want. But here we can see some broken image. 
Let's go to settings. There are a lot of settings, not all of them available in free version, but we need to go to integration and disable Gravatar. Just update it and we can see there is no broken image, so we can use it just like this. Also, if you go to the blog, for example blog 3, we also can see that, that there is a commands here, so your visitors can comment your blog post and you can answer on it. Here we can see some share buttons. Let's disable them and enable another share buttons. For example, system styles. Go to our Helix template settings. Go to blog. Open details tab and disable social sharing. Now let's save and update the page. OK. We can now install free plugin. It's called social to s I also use it on my website here. Let's install it. It's give you more social share buttons and settings. Also, it doesn't break site's page speed. Let's go to system, plugins, let's look to social tests. We can just enable it, update the page and we can see it right here. Go to options, disable, for example, copyright, here it disappeared. We can choose icon style, for example, like this. We can choose default style, for example, color. We can choose position before, after content or before and after content. I will choose button align right. Also, there are other settings. For example, social networks. We can add or delete some of them. For example, we don't need Pinterest but we need, for example, Reddit. And just save it, update and we can see that the icons were changed. So, there are a lot of other settings, not all of them you can use in free version, but just know that they are and you can experiment with them. As you can see, there are a lot of buttons here. Let's remove them. For example, we need to go to category. We need to deactivate this option. But if we will update our page, it won't work. So, if you do this and they won't disable, let's go to System, Site Template Styles, Shaper Helix Ultimate. Let's go to Custom Code and let's add some styles. Just here. You can find this under this video. Save it. Update the page. We can see the share buttons disappear here, but they are still visible here. Let's go here again and let's try to disable this button. Go to components, car command, settings, car command, 
Move to Layout tab and disable this option. Update the page and we can see that our command button disappear, but the commands are still here. OK, let's add article latest module here. Go to modules. We won't need this blog module. Let's create new article list. Article latest. We will call it blog. It will be position bottom two. Let select category blog. On all pages just save, update the page and we can see our blogs. OK, it's too long, so I will leave just three articles. And now just fine. If someone, for example, on home page click blog 2, it will go to the blog 2 article. When we create our home page, we create buttons, but I said that now they are not clickable. I promise you that we will add some links, well, when we have some pages here. So, let's go to our SP page builder component. Let's find our home page and let's add it. For example, about page will be about us. Here we can change contact, it will be contact page. One more contact page. Just save it and let's update our page and test. We can go to our About Us page and to our Contact page. Also, we can go to Contact page from this menu. In the next video tutorial we will transfer our site to hosting, update Joomla and some of its extensions. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. This is Alexey. See you soon in new tutorials.